Okay, this is a quick guide on how to restore the lighting profiles that come stock on the SK61 keyboard. I had purchased this keyboard and ran the driver, and uh, of course the driver doesn't work properly and it erased all the color profiles from my keyboard, so I was pretty disappointed. Uh, I struggled trying to find a way to fix it, and what I found was um, a few guides on Reddit were saying, don't use the latest version of their driver. You should download 6.0.030, and this version doesn't have the lighting profiles broken. It works properly. I wasn't able to get it to work. The issue I had was it would tell me that the keyboard wasn't recognized or it wasn't supported. So I looked for an alternative. And the alternative I found is this. Uh, it's a project by Pixeltris on GitHub. And basically, it's just a different way of loading color profiles and assigning keys on these keyboards. So to get this to work, all you're going to do is you're just going to go to the releases page and you're going to download the latest version. And once you download that, you're going to extract it and you're going to run gk6x.exe. And it's going to give you this window here. And so this window, once it's open, it'll give you the name of your keyboard and the model number. The only thing you need to pay attention to is the model number. You're going to go into the user data folder and you're gonna find a text file that matches your model number. And when you open it up, you're gonna have a blank text file and you're just gonna copy in these four color profiles, which are the default color profiles for this keyboard. And you're gonna hit save. And then you're gonna go back to this window and you're just gonna type map, hit enter, and you're gonna wait. It's gonna tell you when it's done. I turn off the lights here. And these are the default color profiles for this keyboard. So now it's working. And of course, um, you can customize all the color profiles with this tool. So if you don't want to just restore the default profiles and you want to actually customize it, what you can do is you can go to data, lighting, and here it's going to show all the different color profiles and lighting effects that are available. Uh, I'm sure there are more you can download somewhere, but I haven't looked here. So let's look at colorful waterfall. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna replace the, the name with the name of the color file here. Hit save. This text at the end just tells you what layer it's being assigned to. So I have it assigned to the base layer, but you could type layer one, layer two. We're going to go back here, map, all right, so we've added colorful waterfall, where is it, there it is, okay, so now we have this new profile, colorful waterfall, I think it's ugly, but you know, you can mess around with it, anyway, I hope you found this guide useful, uh, I hope it saves you some stress, and have a good one.